Chapter 7 Call No Man Father God showed me something concerning Catholic priests, and I thought, wow, we need to all see this. Lust, whether spiritual, soulish, or natural, is sin in the eyes of Christ. Consider this carefully. Matthew 23, 9 And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. He was not telling us not to call our natural dad's father. Rather, I believe he foreknew that Catholic would arise after he ascended to his heavenly father, and he was addressing an error in that belief. In Catholic, a priest, who is called father, goes into one side of a booth, and lay Catholics enter the opposite side of the same booth. A dialogue ensues between them, resulting in private confessions of all types, including sinful activities that the lay person has committed. These confessions always culminate with the request of the priest, Father, forgive me, for I have sinned. After years and years of known and unknown members confessing their sins to the priest, a transformation begins to take place in the soul and spirit of the priest, most times unknowingly. Opening the ear gate of the soul for years, listening to admissions of sin and vulgar behavior, can quickly destroy a life in many ways. Jesus plainly said, Don't confess your sins to mere people, because they are just that, people. They don't have the authority or the supremacy to forgive us, nor are they able to wash our sins away and repel the weight of sin. Mark 2, seven, Why doth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? If we ponder what Jesus said, we will see that it makes total and complete sense, confessing all kinds of sins, lies, lust, issues, and everything under the sun, will put a priest to his knees, opening portals to satanic oppression. Keep in mind that most Catholic priests are not born-again Christians. Here is the result of this religious process. We see them on the news for molestation, rape, or sodomy charges, sometimes all of the above. I am sure somewhere in our country and in our world it's happening. We are not to be naive of that fact, but it's not as fervent or as televised. If a pastor or anyone in ministry is guilty of the same behavior in the presence of Christ— it will not go unpunished, even if it's not televised or in the morning paper. We have the Holy Spirit to convict us and guide us. God allows us to be married, in part, so that our minds do not travel farther than our flesh should go. Sadly, too often the Catholic priests are either expelled or excluded from the Vatican or the Catholic Church. When we realize the filth a Catholic father goes through, listening to the heaviness of sin, it becomes clear that priests do not have the capability to maintain a pure heart and mind before God in this environment. Jeremiah 17.9 The heart is deceitful, above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? This is true because sin is a great burden to carry. The end result is that people... In this instance, priests act out what has been poured into them. Countless priests have kept themselves from women, yet have different people from all walks of life visiting and confessing month after month and year after year their sexual immoralities. Eventually, it will take a hold on them sexually. The sins of men are too heavy for a mere people to deal with. God has created us to be sexual beings, but the confines of marriage are not in fornication and promiscuity. Lust is very powerful, especially when we feed it. Not everyone will act on every thought or devious behavior that enters their mind, but many will eventually act on some of those thoughts. We all must be clever to know the designs of the devil and how he is trying to destroy us. We must be aware of the enemy and know our true purpose. 1 Corinthians 7, nine. But if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. 
Ephesians 4, 17-24. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God, through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who, being past feeling, have given themselves over unto lasciviousness, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that, ye put on the new man, which, after God, is created in righteousness and true holiness. 